Hello, my name is Marcel Bugland. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In the previous two cost spending levels, we defined quantities for our cost components by directly entering the quantities into the source quantity cell. Uh, that is, however, not the optimal way to, uh, to manage your quantity takeoff information. The Vico Office provides functionality uh, to centrally manage this information, uh, centrally manage your quantity takeoff uh, by defining names and then defining quantities for these. Uh, in this video, I will explain uh, how you can create a new takeoff item and how you can create a new takeoff quantity uh, for that takeoff item. In this video, I will introduce takeoff items or toys, which are named groups of quantities in the Vico Office project. Each takeoff item has one or more takeoff quantities or TOCs, which can later be used as quantity input for your cost plan. We will be working with the Takeoff Manager module and we will use the Manage Takeoff view set. Start a new project and open the Manage Takeoff workflow item from the workflow panel. I'll create a takeoff item. A takeoff item is a container that holds quantities for an element or for a group of elements. You can create a new takeoff item by clicking the New Toy button in the ribbon. Then change the name of the takeoff item as required. Takeoff quantities are the actual quantity values and are included in the takeoff item. Select the takeoff item that we just created and click the New Talk button in the ribbon. You can now change the name, select a unit, and enter the total value for the project in the project column. In this video, we created a new takeoff item, an item that represents a group of similar elements. We then added a takeoff quantity or talk to this takeoff item. Takeoff item and takeoff quantity will be used in the cost planner formula editor in the next video. The Takeoff Manager module is used to manage your collection of takeoff items and takeoff quantities in the project.